Los Angeles, July the 12th. David Beckham and his family are about to get the biggest welcome party for the Brits since the Beatles. David has signed to play for the LA Galaxy in a five-year deal reported to be worth $250 million. It's a big deal and a big twist in the tale of the world's most famous footballer. And the climax to another extraordinary comeback, which until a few weeks ago seemed impossible. With exclusive access to David in Madrid, in England and here in LA, this film charts a year in his life. From the day he resigned as England captain. I cried all the way back to the hotel, um, got in the room and just threw up. To a fantastic leaving party in Madrid. I think what topped it off for me uh, on that night was having the boys uh, on the pitch with me was incredible. To the reality of living among the stars in their new hometown. To see people like John Travolta and his wife uh, saying how great we are as people and things like that, you know, me and Victoria are sitting back and thinking, oh my God. David Beckham is determined to confound his critics again, although this time he has to conquer a whole new world. Sunday, June the 14th, the last day of the Spanish league season. 90,000 excited but nervous Real Madrid fans are at the Bernabeu Stadium, hoping and praying for the win that would ensure a first trophy in four long years. The first trophy, in fact, since David Beckham joined the club. He's playing well, and the fans want one more night with their hero. This is Beckham's last game for Real Madrid, his last chance of a medal before he moves to America. He knows what's coming, but can he do anything about it? Oh, so nearly! Just before that final game, and with Victoria in LA organizing the move, we sat down with David at his family home in Madrid, and he explained why he'd chosen to go to America. So what is it that, uh, that excites you about the challenge of the States? Um, I think there was many things that I, that I looked at before making the decision, and I think one of the biggest things was the challenge of making soccer bigger in, in that country. You know, it's such a huge country, it's such a passionate country, and to succeed over there is not you know, is something that I would be so proud of being able to do. And how has it been from England to Spain to prospectively America in terms of looking after the family? Yeah. It's difficult and obviously you can't go over and look at a house or a school or... <laughs> That's one thing my wife's nervous about. She's bought a really expensive house and I haven't even seen it. <laughs> so um, she's under enormous amount of pressure. You know, she's been obviously accused of you know, being away from the kids, being away from me, you know, jollying it up in L.A. when what she's been doing is working and trying to get the school sorted and doing that. People will be surprised, well, listen, David Beckham wants a place at the school where he can have one, you know, but sometimes life ain't quite that no, straightforward. No, it's not. It's not, you know, I think Victoria was, like, baking cakes and doing everything possible to, uh, you know, I think, I actually think when I arrive, I'm like the school PE teacher, I think. You know, she, I think she promised everything possible to get the kids in the school that they actually loved. So, um, you know, she's done well. The move to America means another home and another country for the Beckhams after four years in Madrid. Brooklyn and Romeo have learnt Spanish and Brooklyn is, is almost fluent and understands. And uh, Romeo's obviously the middle child, so... You know, he's got a different personality and he's obviously, he thinks he's fluent. So he, <laughs> he jabbers along to, he just talks himself off sometimes yeah. and, uh, you know, but he's, they're great little boys and, and I, I turned around to him once um, and I said, you know, where do you, where's your favourite house? 
you know, uh, is it is it Spain? Is it is it England? Is it is, is it the house in England? Because they've always loved the the house in England because they've got a big garden, and they can just run everywhere. Um, and uh, I'll never forget it because Brooklyn just turned around and said, "Daddy, wherever you are and Mummy is, you know, that's that's our favourite house." And that for me was, you know, they're happy boys. They're already showing. So certainly the older two are great interest in football. Yeah. Is that something you would support? Would you foster? Would you push them? I'll always support the kids in whatever they do, but I would love them to be footballers. Sure. Um, sure you know, not, I can imagine. They're showing great promise, and uh, Brooklyn obviously plays football almost every day in Spain. It's not something that I actually force on him. He's just like, OK, well, where can I train tonight? Romeo is a, bit of a, is a, is a little bit of a performer. Um, you know, he... He asked for a, a wireless uh, mic for his birthday the other day, so I think maybe he'll go in different directions. But again, he's, he's, he's obsessed by football. He's a nightmare because we'll be going food shopping and he'll say, can I wear my studs? And he's like walking through, you know, El Corte Inglés, the food side in, uh, in studs. So, it's, uh, you know, they're, they're all obsessed by it. Well, at home we all play football, but what they do is they put me in goal and all four of them just kick footballs at me. And are you any good? Do you save any? No, not really. <laughs> it keeps me fit. You know, that's how I keep fit, ducking the balls. And we've seen little Real Madrid kids knocking about. Um, is that their team? Are they Real Madrid boys? Funnily enough, they've got a, a lot of kits, and they got sent a <laughs> they got sent a Barcelona kit the other day, <laughs> um, which obviously they've never worn outside of the house. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, they're kids. They love they love football kits, and uh, my dad's a, a United fan, so he bought them a United kit. My granddad's a Tottenham fan, he bought them a Tottenham kit. Uh, my best mate's a Chelsea fan, so he's got on the Chelsea kit, so... So they haven't sworn heartfelt allegiance as yet. Are you trying to keep them as neutral as you can? To be honest, I think whatever kit they see me in, that's all they want to do. And, uh, I, you know, they've all gone through it, but at the moment Cruz is going through it where, you know, he, he'll put, like, the Real Madrid kit on and he just thinks it's a David Beckham kit and he doesn't, he doesn't realise, obviously, that's me. So he's... Uh, is that right? So he thinks you, Dad and David yeah. Beckham are two, two slightly different, different people. people. Yeah because I'll turn around to him and say, so who's David Beckham? And he'll say, me. Coming up, more on the two sides of David Beckham. From an emotional recall to the England squad at the new Wembley. It couldn't have been any better and any sweeter and any better time to actually be picked to come back into the England team. To his determination to make his mark across the Atlantic. I believe in this. I believe in this move. A challenge that I believe that, that can you know, turn around uh, football in America. Tinseltown is better known for its beautiful people than the beautiful game. But here comes David Beckham. He's officially an LA Galaxy player now, having signed a five-year, multi-million dollar deal. LA all the way from Leytonstone. David Beckham has come a long way from humble beginnings in the East End of London. He is now the most recognisable sports star Britain has ever produced. From the footballing talent, to the model looks, to the pop star wife and the ever-changing hairstyles. It's all built on perhaps the best right foot in the game. It's in! At 16, he signed for Manchester United, the team he and his dad support. Brilliant, simply brilliant. David Beckham, take a bow. In his 12 years at Old Trafford, United won six Premiership titles, two FA Cups, and the biggest prize in club football, the Champions League. Four years ago, Beckham left United to join Real Madrid, a team so packed with superstars they called them the Galacticos. He captained England for six years, winning nearly 100 caps, and is the only Englishman to score in three World Cups. The summer of 2006, the World Cup and England expects. 